be going over how to use custom formatting in Excel. So we'll be covering what custom formatting is, why we would want to use custom formatting. And today I'm going to be demonstrating custom formatting in one of our top shelf model waterfall models. So before we dive in, just a quick high level overview on what exactly custom formatting is. Custom formatting is a feature in Excel that allows you to create and add custom value formats to your data. Now, what exactly are these custom value formats? So Excel already provides you with preset formats, which include date, time, percentage, currency and accounting, text, and a general formatting, just to name a few. And when these do not satisfy your criteria or the situation that you're in, and you want to add more descriptive formats to your data, this is where custom formatting comes into play. So to find custom formatting, we pull up format cells and we go all the way down and you can see that custom is our last uh, option in our categories. The overarching benefit custom formatting is that it does not sacrifice the accuracy and integrity of your model. Custom formatting simply changes the way the data is displayed and not the actual data. So when you're pulling something say 156 and you want to add units to it through custom formatting, you can do that using the custom formatting saying X number and then units and Excel will still only pull that number and then just add the custom format to the end. So, so now that we know what we're working with, so let's dive into an example to see more of custom formatting in practice and better visualize it. So here we have our waterfall model and we're looking at the waterfall distribution calculations now, but it's not the calculations we're focused on with this custom formatting. We can see row 22 and 30 that we have limited partners to second or first hurdle and then a percentage. So let's pull up the custom formatting for here and we can see that this is actually a custom format. So we have limited partner to third hurdle, and then the percentage, limited partners first hurdle, and the percentage, second promote split, and the percentage. So looking at this, we can see that it's pulling from input C18. And when we go to that, we can see that C18 is 14%. So that second IRR hurdle is that 14%. And then we go back and we see that it's limited partners to second hurdle and then pulling that percent. So the text in here is actually just our custom format. And as you can see, this is a really easy way to add descriptors to data, even large sets of data, because you don't have to manually type it in every time and it'll still simply pull the value that you're adding and not all of the text. So it won't sacrifice the integrity of your calculation. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and have a great day.